Hello everyone, welcome back to channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, move pieces to obtain a string. The problem states that you are given two string, start and target. You need to convert this string start to the target string target. The string will contain only three characters, L, R, and underscore. L denotes that this character can be moved only to the left if there is an empty character, like if there is an underscore on the left. R denotes that this character can be moved to the right if there is an underscore in the right. So we need to perform, like we can perform any number of operation on this start string and we need to just return whether we can, like starting from start string and performing these operations, can we reach to the target string or not? We just need to return true or false. Okay. Now, uh, let's see how to solve this. So this problem is very simple in a way that you need to just uh, do whatever you are given uh, and just take care of all the conditions. So in the problem, it is given that you can't actually, let's say you have this L and R, right? So if there's an L and R, L can only move left and R can only move right. Okay. So if, uh, let's say you, you you have an L and you have a R here, okay? And now you need to move this L to somewhere on the left of R, okay? So this is something that is not possible because this R, like this L can be moved to the left only when there is a empty character on the left, right? So this is the crux of the solution. Basically, when you let's say you will start with the, the first index of the target string. This is the target string. Okay. And this is our start string. Okay. Now you will start with the first index of both the string. Okay. And uh, let's say it is I and this is J. Now you see a L here. Okay. So when you see a L, you will keep on, uh, you will keep on incrementing i unless you see a l right so once you see a l you will just see that okay this l can be moved and match and can be matched to this particular index right now let's suppose that you haven't like you are moving to the left okay and you haven't haven't got l like instead you got somewhere r let's say there's a r before this l so you were trying to find L, but you found R. So in this case, you will literally return false because you know that there is a R here. And if even if there is a L after this uh, R, you can't move this L to before this R, right? So that's where this is kind of a, a situation where you can't move L to its required position and hence answer would be false. So for L, the case is simple. You will just uh, keep on I, uh, incrementing I unless you see a uh, L. Once you see a L, you will just see whether the position that you get the L is greater than the position, greater than or equal to the position that you want the L. So here we want the L at J equals to zero. And here we got the L at I equals to one. So because zero, like one is greater than zero, it means we, you can move this left, move this L to the left and you will be done right now let's suppose let's talk about another case with l let's say there is an l here okay and you are you have a like empty character here so in this case you will start from here and j will be still here because in j we are iterating over only l and r we don't care about uh, the empty characters so now you see that you want l you will keep on incrementing i until you get l and because you l is at this position so you, I will stop here. Now see, I is zero. Like at zero, you get L, but you want L at J equals to one, right? Now you can't move this L to the right. So that's where like there can, there is a L after this, which can be moved to the left. But what about this L? This L can be, can't be moved, right? So that's where again, like checking whether I is actually greater than or equals to J is important. So if it is true, then only you will uh, continue. Otherwise you will return false. 
so hope you get what we have to do with l now let's talk about the other character which is r so let's say you got a you you find if uh, let's say this l was not there and this is not there this is currently pointing to this and you got a l uh, you you found out that i is actually greater than or equal to j so that is a good match you can actually do some steps to move it to the current position so that's a good match you don't worry about the steps you just move i to the next position because everything up till here is kind of exhausted okay now you move j uh, sorry so you moved j to the next position r now you got r right so you will again keep on incrementing this until the current position so remember previously we keep on incrementing it until we get r uh, we, we get l but this time we are keep on we are keeping a, incrementing it until we hit r uh, until we hit this particular index j the reason being you might hit a l here right let's say you get a r here and if you stop here and move forward like and as a, like assume that everything is good and move forward with this r this may not be correct the reason being let's say there is an l here somewhere before this uh, character so if there is an l you can't actually move this r to the correct position right so that's where again there is a deadlock kind of situation so for l you will keep on incrementing until you hit the first l for r you will keep on incrementing until you hit uh, the current position of j and once you hit current position of j you can see whether you encounter any l or not if you have encountered l just return false if you haven't encountered l it means everything is good just count number of hours and move forward okay so that's pretty much the solution is so let's just quickly look at the code uh this is a very basic sanity check that number of l's and number of r's should be equal otherwise there is no possible way you can make that string match so once you have made this check in a way you are guarantee you are guaranteeing that there is equal l's and equals r's so whenever you want to find the next l you will always get at least one position so after doing this i am just uh, resetting this l and r for start string now as discussed we will iterate over the index of t like the target target string from 0 to n initially it is 0 okay so now we iterate from 0 to n if target string current character is empty just continue we don't worry about it if it is l as discussed we will try to find out the first l in s so we will keep on incrementing s until we find l as and when we find l we just give, we just break so once we find l we check whether i of s is less than i of t or not basically index of l uh, like the, the one that we discussed if let's say the l is here and this is i and this is j so this can't be true like the this this can't be possible because we ca you can't move this l to the next position so that's where you, we are checking this particular condition whether index is lesser or not if it is you can't do this just return false uh and this in like if it is true that index is actually greater or equal you just increment s because the current position of s is exhausted now if it is not l if it is r we will keep on incrementing it until the position matches and if any time we get l we will return false but if we get r in between we are accumulating all the r's like notice that r can be moved to the right right let's say there are uh, five like they, you got two r's in the uh, in the journey to j so that is fine right you can actually move r to the right like both the r's can be moved one by one one by one to the right so that's why i am accumulating i am accumulating all the r's instead of like manually shifting them i am just accumulating all the r's so after this loop if there is no r at all until the current position uh, and the answer is answer is not possible because let's say there is no r and the first r is at here after this index so because this r can't be moved to the left the answer is the answer doesn't exist so we did in false otherwise we consume one r from this uh, set of r's so notice that we may have accumulated more than one r's here right 
so while checking for l the first condition is whether there is an r or not because if there is an r it means there exist some character in the target after current index which have r that needs to be cancelled with this r but because we encountered a l these r's whatever we have encountered previously can't be moved to the right like we have encountered l right and there are let's say three r's which are unused so these three r's actually can't move to the right so that's where we are checking whether there is an r or not if there is a r previously which is not yet cancelled out it means there is there like in the target string there is a r somewhere here and we are currently checking this l so this r can't be moved across this l so that's where we return false so hope you got the solution so the basic thing we just check whether if a number of else a number of parts are same or not if they are then we check whether uh, we just check uh, whether it is possible to move any l to the current position of target if it is possible to move any l to the correct position of target we will move forward with the next position of target and how we are checking whether it is possible to move any l we are just finding out the first l that exists and if index of that l is greater than index of t then it is possible otherwise it is not possible and for the r we have matched until the position of r because there can be l's in between and that can actually uh, hinder the shift of this r to the current uh, to its correct position so that's where we are incrementing it until position uh, until the current position of j the position in target and if we encounter any l we return false otherwise we keep on accumulating r and if we have some r we, we, we will continue otherwise we will return false so hope the solution is clear if you have any doubts in this question please post them in the comment section below i would be able to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video thank you